Hey y'all, Darla here with Growing Tropical. And once again, I am on the south side of our, <laughs> of our property. For those of you who have been following my videos, you might be getting sick of me saying, hi, it's Darla and I'm on the south side of the yard. But honestly, I am in the final stages of getting the south side of the yard taken care of. And again, if you are following my videos, you're actually watching me as I am basically transforming this south side of our property. It started out with just going in, um, going in and adding a little bit more drip irrigation and realizing that I needed to lift and relocate some plants as well. So um, anyway, we've done just about um, as much drip irrigation as I think we need. Um, I have and um, a lot more, probably twice the tubing, um, the main tubing, you can probably see it right here, the main tubing. I've run twice as much of that on both sides of the flower beds. Um, I've tapped into this, um, this tubing, this main tubing with um, smaller tubing to run um, actually risers to some of the more staple plants that are in the garden to get water right to those root balls because some of the things like the adonidia palm, um, I've got pitch apples behind us, a sky flower, the pygmy date, some of the crotons, um, they need, they, the, the water requirements for them are actually a little bit more, especially on this side of the yard because I just cannot exclaim to you guys enough, this side has just been so unique for me in the fact that um, I've never had to water so much. It just gets so dry over here and um, you know, the fence, the wall it's a little bit more narrow so there's a little less or a lot less airflow over here so anyway all that being said um, I, I think that I am actually in front of it and that just makes me so thrilled so in this video what I'm actually doing is uh, putting some of the final touches um, on um, on this side by adding some um, pops of color and I've decided to do that with these beautiful petunias these are just um, these are just Petunias is all it says. They are, um, the, the color is like a pinky red. They're very, very pretty. And petunias are very hardy in our zone. Um, we do treat them as annuals, but they're very hardy in our zone. Um, and they'll go through, um, or they should go through. I never say they will definitely go through because again, our summer sun here in South Florida is so hot that sometimes even the plants that say full sun, I find that they do actually best when they get a little bit of, um, of a shade. But normally the petunias, if they get, if I get them in now and we are in the month of, of March, if I get them in now and they get a good root, they should do really, really well throughout the whole entire summer for me. So that they may, um, depending if I can keep the, the cutworms off of them and keep the leaf miners off of them because they just, for me, the leaf miners just get a hold of these guys so easy. So I may even do something like a preventative just to kind of put around them just to maybe help to ward off the, um, the leaf miners and stuff that, you know, that, that I know do attack these for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to be putting in these petunias and I'm going to be putting them in here in the front under this adenidia palm and I'm going to be putting them behind me just kind of splashing them in over here behind the um, or actually probably in front of depending on which direction you're in the pygmy date palm and of course behind the camera and I'll, I'll show you guys that here in a little while um, I've got some splashed over uh, behind us as well so I thought it would just be really really pretty just add some splashes of color and I think this color will just um, it'll really be really pretty too and just kind of draw your eye in to the pops of to with pops of color over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys all planted up and then I'll come back with a camera and show you just what they look like.
Okay, I'm all finished, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the camera and show you these pretty petunias and just how nice they look. And it's just amazing to me, sometimes just the small things that you do in the garden like this, adding pops of color, just make it come to life. And I also did put down some mulch. I ran out, but that's no big deal. I can always go back and get more later on. I just want to go ahead and um, show you how much I actually got done um, in this video. And again, I'm almost finished and I'm just really anxious to get the final, <laughs> final, final touches. Um, here are the petunias that I was talking about that were behind me in the camera when I was over on the other side of the flower bed. But aren't they so pretty? These guys have been in for, um, gosh, probably about a week now, maybe a little bit over a week, but they're starting to fill out really, really nice. I went through and I fertilized them after the fact and um, they're starting to really get a little bit green here on uh, the foliage and everything, but they're just so pretty and they had such a nice pop. And then over here, um, I went ahead and I got all these guys planted in. They're just kind of dotted in all over the place. And then over here, I just put a few more. I had, let's see, two, four, I had about six of them left. And I went ahead and I just put them in over in here just to give that little bit of pop of color and as I zoom in, you can see that they're just babies right now, but they will grow and they will spread and they will look real nice. I did not put any fertilizer on them at all. Um, I will go back through like I did on the other side and I will put um, some fertilizer on them. It's just a granular fertilizer. It's a uh, controlled release and I just kind of sprinkle it around and um, instead of putting it in a hole, that's just kind of been my MO. That's just kind of what I've always done. I've never really, I should say never, it's not a habit of mine to put uh, fertilizer in the hole. So um, until I, you know, learn something a little bit different, I'm going to go ahead and just stay with what I, uh, what I know and um, I get good results with it. So, and if you saw, I, I added some mulch. Um, the mulch just kind of gave it that extra pop as well. I use pine bark nuggets. You can see back here, let me show you guys. Over in here, you can see the difference. I tried, I was trying out some different mulch. This is more of a, um, it's pine bark, but it's all like chopped up real nice and fine. And I thought that I would like that, but it turns out that I really like the chunkier stuff better. You can see the big chunks. I don't know. I think it's just personal preference at this point, but I just think it looks really, really pretty. The other stuff, um, when I put it in, I don't know. I, I, I was just thinking maybe something different. Maybe it would retain moisture better. It doesn't appear to be because I just watered in really, really good. And that mulch is still really dry underneath. I mean, it's no different, I guess I should say, than the pine bark nuggets. So anyway, you guys, um, I hope this video was inspirational just to kind of lighten the mood, if you will, with getting out in the yard and maybe doing um, some gardening while the weather is still really, really nice. I know, like I said, I live here in South Florida. I'm a zone 10. Our weather is getting, as you can tell, I'm wearing <laughs> no sleeves. It is really, really hot and humid here. The humidity has been in the 80s, high 80s, and um, it's been really, really hot and humid here. So if it's really, really important that I get stuff like this done, the hardcore stuff, the digging and the raking and the planting or whatever. It's really important that I get that type of stuff done while we have temperatures that aren't in the, well, 90s and hundreds with 90 and 100 percent humidity. So anyway, you guys, it's been a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. I really hope um, that you enjoy the content that I'm producing. And if you do, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, until the next video, bye.